Now what we're going to move on to is a hot milk based beverage. Now I'll start by preparing our latte crema carafe and to do this it's very easy, super simple to assemble. You get the milk carafe lid and firstly we can connect the milk carafe connector. At the back of the lid you simply place it into the unlock symbol and twist to lock. Next we have the froth adjustment and clean dial. Again, simply insert to the insert symbol and twist. Next we can move on to the milk spout and this is super easy to attach. You simply find this area here, place it inside and click into place. You also have the extender here on the spout and we'll use that later. And finally we have the milk intake tube which simply inserts at the bottom there. This new carafe is easy to assemble and dismantle and it has a nice rounded shape for even easier cleaning later on. So now that that's all assembled, let's make a classic milk recipe, the cappuccino. Let's go grab the milk, be right back. Now we suggest using fresh semi-skim milk straight from the fridge, ideally around 5 degrees Celsius. So we can fill all the way up to the max line, but be careful not to exceed it. With our patented latte crema system technology, we can also create great milk recipes with our plant-based milk alternatives. You know, we recommend using soy, almond, or oat for best foam results too. Now all that's left to do is insert the milk carafe into the machine. And we can now select our beverage from the cluster. Cappuccino. A letter explore helps us to make perfect beverages by suggesting frothing tips according to the recipe. On our new carafe, we can easily adjust the foam level by turning the knob on the top of the lid. Now that the cup's in place, what we can do is adjust the coffee spout and the milk spout so we can safely extract into the cup and catch all that good stuff coming out. Now this new carafe milk spout has cool touch technology so we can safely adjust it. Now as you can see there, I'm pulling the milk spout upwards to catch all that milk into the cup. But when we're preparing a short milk based beverage instead, what we need to do is pull the milk nozzle closer to the glass. For example, when we're making an espresso macchiato. Now all that's left to do is to press brew. But before I do, I'm going to adjust the aroma up to four because I like my coffee strong. And away we go. So the machine gives you handy tips throughout each process and you can choose whether to opt to see them or not. And it even reminds you to turn the dial into the correct setting, even if you forget, so don't worry. And away we go. As we saw earlier, Aletta Explore displays each step of the preparation on the screen with messages and visuals in a friendly and interactive tone of voice. There you go, my cappuccino is ready. Once again, it asks me if I want to save that setting, which I do, once again, because I love coffee. As you can see, you got that silky smooth froth at the top, that rich, intense coffee in the middle, and that should be a beautiful drink. That's gorgeous, very good. Now, once we finish preparing our favorite milk drink, Aletta Explore reminds us that we still need to clean the milk carafe. But as we still have some leftover milk in the carafe, we proceed to the auto clean function. I'll take a look. You put any mug underneath, so long as it captures the rinse cycle. We rinse the carafe lid by simply turning the knob on here to clean and perform an auto clean cycle. Now what the carafe is doing is it's rinsing through the spout without altering the leftover milk that's on the inside. So once it's done the clean cycle, all that's left to do is to remove the carafe and place it in the fridge. Now remember to use the leftover milk within two days for best results. Now let's have a look at preparing a refreshing cold milk beverage with our new Latte Crema Cool System Carafe. Just as before, we can add the milk up to the max line, but mind you don't exceed it. Once 
Once that's done, we just need to grab some ice. As you can see, the carafe has the same components as the one before, but with a beautiful white satin design. The only difference is in the milk spout. Here, the cool touch spout for milk is not needed as the new latte crema system froths milk at only 20 degrees Celsius. Today, I'd like to make myself a cold latte macchiato. And all you need to do is simply add the milk into the carafe, like before, attach it to the machine and select the cold cluster from the display, like so. The machine asks me if I like the beverage to be iced or extra iced. And let's go with extra iced today. Here, the machine will tell me exactly how many ice cubes I need to use. Eight. And eight. I'm just going to pop this back in the freezer, placing the cup underneath, and you can adjust the spouts accordingly. As before, Aletta Explore tells us how to adjust the milk froth settings to get the best foam results. Now, as you can see on the display, all the phases of the preparation are visualized, this time starting with the milk dispensing. What's innovative about the Latte Crema Cool System technology is that the coffee is dispensed at 75 degrees and the milk at 20 degrees. The ingredients are then combined with the ice at minus 18 degrees and the result is a refreshing drink at around 10 degrees, which is perfect where we can taste the sweetness of the milk. Wonderful, a latte macchiato is now finished, it's complete and it's ready to drink. And as we did before, we can proceed to the auto-clean function of the carafe before storing it in the fridge. But before I do that, I'm gonna give this a cheeky little taste. Oh, so refreshing, I love it, absolutely love it. Aletta Explore's cold recipes really do have that refreshing taste.